Hey folks, Real Lost You with John Ritland. I'm John Ritland, and those who haven't heard, Linda McMahon is now part of Donald Trump's cabinet, further proving that it's good to have friends in high political places, even if they don't deserve it. Because she failed to become a senator twice. Twice. Spending millions upon millions of dollars and failing because she's either not qualified for the job or people felt, hey, maybe somebody who runs WWE which is basically wrestling's version of the NFL, maybe somebody running that wouldn't be a good person to put in charge of our state as a senator or have representing our state. Regardless, Linda McMahon, according to the Wall Street Journal and various other people have, you know, other news outlets have talked about this, Donald Trump picks Linda McMahon as head of small business administration. Given how her husband swallowed up a bunch of regional territories in the 80s, <clears throat> and even in the 90s and into the 2000s, even though WCW is more of a more worldwide promotion and ECW is more of a national promotion, still, it's really funny that Linda McMahon, who doesn't seem like she really can do any interviews without looking confused, is going to talk about, is going to be heading Small Business Administration. I guess it is a good thing that Trump keeps selecting people that have no idea what they're doing to his, to his cabinet. And especially Mike Pence, who doesn't even know how to be a human being or how to recognize that gay people are actually people and don't deserve to be, you know, subjected to possible conversion therapy because being gay is a sin. Mike Pence, you're a piece of dog shit. I don't care, and I hope that he gets everything hurled at him as far as insults so he can feel what it's like to, you know, be, to have different views and stuff like that, like he's, you know, made gay people feel because he's brought a whole bunch of bigotry and hatred out, even more so, and that's the one thing that Trump's election has brought out, and that's one thing his whole election brought out, is a lot of hate and bigotry. I am not going to say that Linda is going to bring that out. Linda will bring out a lot more jokes, a lot more memes and stuff like that. It is just weird that two of the members of the, um, two of the members of the whole Trump administration, Trump and Linda, have taken stunners from Stone Cold Steve Austin. I mean, I was ha I'm half expecting him to just go in and stun Trump during his inauguration, which I would find kind of funny, but then it would prove that WWE was dipping into politics. And actually, now that I think about it, and I don't remember who exactly said this, so forgive me if I if I don't remember your exact Twitter handle. Now we know why WWE was not WWE talents were not allowed to talk about the election much, if at all. Because Linda was obviously a shoe in so I'm sure it's going to be, it's going to come out that Vince, you know, fu help fund some of Trump's campaign. Maybe, I don't, I, I don't know. Linda apparently made donations to, I believe, Rebuild America or something like that. It, it's just weird that, it, it's just weird seeing this where I'm like, really, I mean, it, can this administration become more of a joke already? And by the way, I want to say this right now, I am not, I was not a fan of Obama. I'm just saying that right now. I didn't hate the guy, but I'm not a fan of Obama. I have no political party affiliation. I wasn't even a fan of Hillary. I just know Trump, whether he tries to do something good or not, is going to fail miserably because his country's going down the shitter. And it's further proof with Linda being elected because it's just a sham. This whole election, this whole cabinet is just a sham. You might as well have JBL, Orlando Jordan, and the Basham brothers out there as part of that cabinet because that cabinet was just about as credible as this. Get the York Foundation as part of this. I think... I think all the members are still alive. I think Thomas Rich, Richard Morton, Terry Taylor, and I know Terry, I know Terry Runnels is alive. Get them all out there and have have the York Foundation come out. Just make it a whole big ass production. Make it all kinds of ridiculous. I mean, it, it, there, there's just nothing I can say other than my God, this is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. It's a good thing, I guess, that Vince and Linda have known Trump since the 80s, and they even ran a couple WrestleManias at Trump Plaza. One could argue two of, maybe not the worst, but two of the weirdest manias because of how they, you know, booked them. And then Trump even was part of the Battle of the Billionaires thing. It was on that. And then, you, you know, in 2007, WrestleMania 23, and even owned Raw for a couple weeks. And then that, and then Vince brought that back when they realized that storyline was shitting because nobody liked Trump on TV. <laughs> and Vince even said, Vince even said in a great quote. I mean, it was a quote for TV, but it holds true now. It's like you might have ninety. It's like something about ninety-five percent of the people um, 
or it's like you, it's something about ninety five percent of the people may um, love you, but they know that you're full of crap or something like that. It's like you might have some people fooled, but ninety five percent of them know that you're full of crap, and that's really what it is. I mean, I, I kind of butchered that quote, but the whole point is, is that this whole cabinet is full of crap. Linda, I mean, whatever. I mean, it's like it's like Mr. Tr and Trump, Mr. Trump, because he. Because an immature jackass like that deserves the name Mister and not to be put in timeout, stand in the corner until he decides to behave. Linda has a tremendous background and is widely recognized as one of the country's top female executives advising businesses around the globe. I want to make this clear that my knocking of Linda is not sexist in any way. I just don't feel that Linda is going to be the person that you want to put in this role. It's just, to me, now we're just one step closer to Vince McMahon getting in the damn White House, which is terrifying given how nuts Vince is. Uh, I mean, my God, my God, what what else can you say about this? I mean, li hopefully Linda can run this this part of the administration, you know, can run and be the head of small business bear. She could take a damn stunner. I mean, because that was just brutal. And I just, I just I just don't know what to say, guys. It's just it's such a sham. It's so ridiculous. Trump's an idiot. Pence is an even bigger idiot than an asshole. That I quite frankly hope gets you know hurled with a ton of hate because he's a moron and a piece of shit. And Linda Linda never I don't hate Linda as a person. I mean I just find it to be even more of a woeful sham and proof that politics is much it has been a reality show for years it's been confirmed that it's been confirmed even more now and especially in the past like i'd say 20 years it's been obvious how much politics are just a damn shit it doesn't matter the political affiliation doesn't matter your views whether you're left right or center it is just bad it is bad all around and that's all i'm going to say about it. so here's what i gotta say Trump, I hope you know what the hell you're doing. You don't know what you're doing because you're a fucking idiot. Mike Pence, you're a piece of shit. And I hope one day you realize the damn stupid ass words that you said in regards to making people who are gay feel bad. Because, by the way, anybody gay, lesbian, transgender, or whatever should not be made to feel bad just because they're different. And because your stupid, stupid, stupid fucking Bible-thumping ways are going to, you know, are the holy words and you got to believe that and you can't, and you can't, you know, deviate from that book. And by the way, this is not knocking people that I know watch my show that are religious, that are Catholic, Christian, or whatever. You people are all cool with me. Guys like Mike Pence, if I actually could, they they would they would get you know publicly shamed because that's what they deserve. I'd rip a Bible up in front of them and throw it in their damn face because he's a piece of shit. And anybody that believes that gay, lesbian, transgender people that they're not actual human beings, you're what's wrong with this goddamn country. Now Linda, Linda kind of gets pushed off to the side here. It's a joke, but that's exactly how I feel about it. It's one thing to joke. It's like, I, I, I have gay friends, lesbian friends that I joke with. That's one thing. We can all joke and we're human beings. To have outright hate because somebody believes something different like that is ridiculous. Now, that's not to say I want Trump, Pence, or anybody in his cabinet to get hurt. That is not what I'm saying. But I hope that they're prepared for all the shit that they're going to get from people. Deservedly. Because they're rotten people. Especially Pence. So, Linda... Hope you can run this better than Vince helped run, you know, than, and not run businesses out of out of business like, you know, your husband ran territories, you know, into the ground. And Trump, I hope that maybe you realize that your hair looks ridiculous. Stop bathing in Cheetos, and Pence, stick your head in the sand um, because you're gonna have to, because people are gonna hurl words at you because it's what you deserve. So that's what I gotta say about it. Little nine minute rant, totally random. Do you agree? Do you disagree? If you don't agree, guess what? You can leave comments, and if you actually want to be civil, I'll gladly be civil with you. Otherwise, make your own video and talk about how people like me are idiots. But this Trump administration, even if Hillary got elected, whatever, this whole country's going down the damn toilet. This is more proof of it. But I already knew that when Pence got, you know, named his VP. Anyway, folks, Real Honesty with John Rithlin. I'm John Rithlin. My Twitter link's in the description if you want to talk to me. And if you don't like what I got to say, fuck you.